Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will talk about third party SSIS components. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is what are the third party SSIS components. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Parveen Darbar and the question was please explain third party SSIS component. So let's jump to the demo. As you are aware that SSIS is an ETL tool and in SSIS we have pre-built components for example you can load data from some different sources like excel source csv file let me show you some sources okay so if you see some sources that we can load the data from adio.net source cdc source excel source flat file polydb xml and raw file source so these are the sources those are available similarly there are some destinations here that you can export the data to some particular destinations and then you got some transformations that you you can do some transformations in between okay and similarly in the control flow there are some other tasks like uh, file system task execute sql task or data flow task okay and similarly we have like hadoop pick task hadoop hive task okay so if you are working on an etl project then 95 percent of the time you can do all your work all your project work using the inbuilt components inbuilt task in the ssis and sometimes if you don't find any task for example if you need to download a file from secure ftp then we don't have a task to download the file or upload the file to secure ftp of course we have an ftp task here but the ftp task can be used to just download or upload the files from a ftp server not from the secure ftp server so for those scenarios you have two options available either you can write some c sharp custom code to download the files or upload the files from secure FTP task or you have an option that there are some big companies in the market those are actually creating the third party components so there are a lot of companies out there those can actually give you a lot of different components like secure FTP task which can actually download or upload the file from secure FTP they have created hundreds of thousands of components which are actually dealing with other sources for example if you need to download or upload something to Amazon S3 then they have components to connect with the Amazon S3 similarly if you need to connect to the PostgreSQL or MySQL or Oracle so they have the inbuilt component those directly talk to that particular source or destination so let me show you what kind of components we have so let me open the Google here and then let me search for SSIS third party components so on the top you will find this one Zapisys. so for example if you open this particular link I'm just showing you like what kind of com third party components you can have and maybe if you want to I can create another video like how you can use those components so if you scroll down if you see in that toolbox you will find some new components here like ZS export excel task ZS export JSON task so you are aware that we don't have an inbuilt JSON component in the SSIS but if you want to work with JSON file then you can use these third party components and then you can work with them so you don't need to write a single line of code otherwise if you do not want to use these third party components then you need to write your own code like I have created a video on like how to load a JSON parser but that code was written in the C sharp language in the script component uh, the thing is for example if I scroll down let me show you some of the task here so for example you can see that these are the components for the JSON API integration similarly we have a lot of tasks for XML integration as well we have a task like xml destination so if you check in the ssis we don't have a task for the xml destination of course we have a task for like xml source but we don't have an xml destination so whatever tasks were missing in the ssis and the ssis developers were finding hard to write the code for those these companies actually created the third party components for those particular requirements okay and now as i was talking about that we have the Amazon S3 source, Amazon S3 destination. So we don't have like any components for Amazon source or Amazon destination. And if you are further scroll down, then you have API source. And then if I scroll down further, then we have a lot of components for Azure related components, Amazon AWS cloud integration components, and secure FTP, like I was talking about, secure FTP task that we can just drag and drop the component and it can work similarly we have components for big data okay mongodb source amazon salesforce connectivity we have all the salesforce tasks as well postgresql and dynamic crm 
then we have like Google Spreadsheet API integration as well. So there are tons of components available. Send HTML email. So we can't send the HTML email directly using a component in the SSIS. We have a send mail task, but it doesn't send the HTML email, it sends the normal email. And if you want to send the HTML email, then you need to write the code in the C sharp language. So this is the thing that there are tons of components available, the third party components, and which can make the life easy for you. <laughs> but at the same time, you need to buy a license for them. And most of the time your company won't allow it until unless they see that okay you need to write a lot of SSIS packages and if they think that um, the task that you want to perform using the third party component if you think that it can save a lot of development time then maybe they can purchase it but if the requirement is very small then they might ask you to use some scripting language like c .net or vb.net to perform that particular task okay yeah it can make the life easier for the developers it can save you a lot of time and efforts but on the other hand you need to pay for them okay so that's the thing so it's up to you whether you want to use the third party components or not uh, frankly speaking yeah i have used the third party components for some of the project but i have used very rarely and most of the time if i need to perform anything and i don't find any component or task inbuilt in ssis then most of the time I try to see like how I can perform the same task using c .net language because I have worked as a c -sharp developer two years as well and then I try to write the script for that instead of using the third party components because most of the time 95% of the time uh, we can do that work using the inbuilt SSIS components. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.